Hello students. Welcome back. We are doing direct and indirect speech part 2. Now as you know this is a very important topic and probably the last one for this year. So please be ready with your textbooks open and a pencil in your hand and if possible go through part 1 of direct and indirect speech first and then you can listen to this video of part 2. Now as we did earlier we finished the basic sentences now we come to the sentences with the questions where you ask questions. So here you can use the word asked, inquire. Um, the examples are given very well in your textbook. Please read and understand every example minimum two to three times. The first one is the teacher said to me what is your name? So you can always say the teacher asked me what my name was. Is has changed to was. Let us go to the fourth one. Peter said to me, do you play cricket? So Peter asked me whether or if instead of whether you can use the word if. If you are using the word whether, be careful about the spelling. Peter asked me if. I played cricket. So this is how you will change the questions into simple sentences. Um, let us do uh, one or two sentences of exercise 3. The first one, he said, where do you come from? He asked me, where did I come from? Do has become did. You has changed to I. He asked me, where did I come from? And full stop, no question mark here when you are changing the sentence to indirect speech. Let us do the eighth one. Do you really know magic? said the queen. Here you can say, the queen asked or the queen inquired if I really knew magic. The queen inquired if I really knew magic. So this is how I am sure you will be able to do the rest of the sentences. Now we come to commands and requests and that is the last thing where you are either commanding or ordering or you are requesting when you use the word please. So let us go through the various examples. I said to Krishna, please give me. So I requested Krishna to give me his book. That is a request. And when you are, you are advising somebody, you are urging somebody or if it's a army man or a commander, you are ordering or commanding. The commander said to his soldiers, the commander commanded his soldiers to stand at ease. That is the last example given in your textbook before exercise 4. So that is the time you use the word commanded. Otherwise the most common word used is requested when there is word please. And if I say this is my example okay don't search for it in your textbook. The teacher said get out of my class. The teacher ordered let's give the name Hari to get out of the class. The teacher ordered Hari to get out of the class. So this is how you use the various words. Let us go to exercise 4 and I'll give you which sentence should be doing. Let's say the 8th sentence. Sit down boys said the teacher. The teacher told the boys to sit down because here it is not ordering. It's not getting out of the class or um, uh, punishment or anything just sit down so you here we use the word the teacher told the boys or asked the boys to sit down let's see the ninth one shoot said the officer to his men here you can use the word ordered the officer ordered his men to shoot let's see the tenth one he said to me wait till I return here you can say he requested me to wait till he returned. He requested me to wait till he returned. 
so this is how you will do the sentences of command and request we have done this in the fifth grade in quite a lot of detail so it should not be very difficult for you this year if you go through the various examples given to you please go through the examples and try to do the exercises on your own at least for the first time i know it's a little difficult but not impossible if you really try i will send the answers as soon as possible so you can check your answers you can take the help of my answers also but don't just blindly copy you can use the answers for your reference for your checking purpose but at least try to solve the exercise once on your own here we complete the course of grammar no more lessons will be done in grammar for this academic year so please this is the last chapter that you are supposed to do do it thoroughly and do it well bye students see you for now